Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: Roseanne is already making a comeback with stunning new announcement. Roseanne Barr suffered a setback when ABC canceled her show over a tweet that caused a few people to complain. While a few folks subjectively were offended by what Roseanne said, others ignored it and continued about their day. However, someone at ABC didn't like what Roseanne said about Valerie Jarrett and used the tweet as an excuse to cancel her show. In the action of canceling the show, the station also caused numerous others to lose their jobs as well. When ABC canceled the Roseanne show, they caused others to lose their jobs and it was all over a tweet that a few people simply didn't like. Canceling an entire show, causing numerous people to lose their jobs, and providing the country with more evidence of the sickly double standard that's saturating our country with thoughtless boycotts and nonsense complaints of being offended. After all is said and done, it was ABC who caused people to lose their job even though their ratings were acceptable and their audience enjoyed the program. Roseanne isn't letting this get to her though. She's already making her own comeback just a day after losing her show. She's taken to Twitter, the place in which her previous comment was discovered and caused ABC to lose their minds, and she's showing that great American resilience. She's making a comeback by taking responsibility for her actions and reminding her fans that they simply need not make excuses for her or come to her defense. She's showing her resilience to being cut from her own show and allowing ABC to sever so many people from their jobs and no longer bringing back the show for the next season, even though they were renewed. Conservative 101 wrote more about her comeback, It has been a horrible day for Roseanne fans around the world. ABC canceled the hit show Roseanne after the lead Roseanne Barr tweeted a very politically incorrect tweet about former Obama official Valerie Jarrett. However, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. After the show was canceled, Barr apologized on Twitter. I deeply regret my comments from late last night on Twitter. Above all, I want to apologize to Valerie Jarrett, as well as to ABC and the cast and crew of The Roseanne Show. I am sorry for making a thoughtless joke that does not reflect my values, I love all people and am very sorry," wrote Barr. Today my words caused hundreds of hard-working people to lose their jobs. I also sincerely apologize to the audience that has embraced my work for decades. I apologize from the bottom of my heart and hope you can find it in your hearts to forgive me," wrote Barr. After her apology, she announced that she is not done for yet. She even has a guest appearance on an interview show this Friday. Don't feel sorry for me, guys. I just want to apologize to the hundreds of people, and wonderful writers, all liberal, and talented actors who lost their jobs on my show due to my stupid tweet. I will be on Joe Rogan's podcast Friday," tweeted Barr. Hey guys, don't defend me. It's sweet of you to try, but, losing my show is zero compared to being labeled a racist over one tweet that I regret even more," she wrote. The next step for Roseanne and her crew is to see if another network picks up her show. They will wait while other networks make a decision, mostly determining how many viewers they can gain by signing on the show as needed. If a network realizes they can pick up an extra few million viewers, then perhaps it's worth picking up the show. If the networks think like businessmen and put politics aside, then they'll see that signing Roseanne's show will bring them new viewership. Keep in mind that many of the writers for The Roseanne Show fall on the left side of politics. The show staff has numerous people from various political agendas and the outcome is that they all work together and provide an entertaining show that millions of fans enjoy greatly. The staff of Roseanne's show is evidence that people of multiple political backgrounds can happily work together and provide a product worth watching which was evident by the ratings the show so greatly endured. Roseanne will bounce back and it's thought that someone will eventually pick up the show. Shall executives from any network sign the Roseanne show, then they'll likely have made a wonderful decision. Whoever picks it up will automatically be graced with millions of new viewers. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.